Guys, we're back with the screen team, and we are doing movie reviews. We got a, a new one uh, to DVD that uh, we want to uh, let you know whether or not it's good or not. We're talking about John Wick Two, and being joined by Jamie Hickson with this one. Jamie, how's it going, man? Oh, not bad. Good to see you, um, John Wick. Are you a fan of the franchise? Did you see the first one? What'd you think of that one? I did, and uh, I I came to it late. Um, you know, I was aware of the movie, mm-hmm. and I, I'm I'm not necessarily. Uh, a big fan of Keanu Reeves, mm-hmm. but I, I've seen you know a handful of his films, and some of them I liked, and some were like, yeah, okay. Right. And I'd heard about this one, and everybody kept raving what a great action movie it was, and yeah. the first one, you know. And so I just kind of skipped it, and then the second one came out, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to check this out. <laughs> so I went crazy and like rented both of them in a week. And so, what did you think, man? Are you are you on the John Wick train? Oh, sure, yeah. I'm anxious to see what they do. There's got to be a third one. Yeah. You know, so. So are you normally into to action films? Uh, somewhat. It mm-hmm. depends on what type it is. Uh, like, I, there's some stuff I can I can watch the trailer. Like, I don't want anything to do with the Fast and Furious movies. Mm-hmm. Um, but I loved Baby Driver, you know, and it mm-hmm. was it was it had a lot of car chase stuff in it. So it depends on what they do with it. Um, to me, some movies, it looks like they go a little overboard with what they can do with effects and green screen and things like that. Right. And, uh, so I don't know. So what, what was it about this one? Obviously, you're kind of hit or miss with Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Uh, you're hit and miss with the, the action series. Why was this one, why did this one capture you so much? Well, uh, mostly I think it's because people whose opinion I trusted kept saying, yeah, these are great movies, mm-hmm. you know. They're not, and again, they're probably not the greatest. Um, there's probably other action flicks that tell a story a little better or or you know have certain elements that that rise above this but there's just something the way they were put together yeah. you know this character the way that they portrayed it and i think part of what works for people is like the plot is so simple yeah and they they really draw a lot out of it you know um and you find out more about the character as it goes along but it's it's i don't know it's 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 almost one of those kind of movies where if you have any interest in making films you're like Wow, I wish I'd have thought of that. Right. You know, <laughs> in a way. Yeah. So. And not only that, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, it's so beautifully shot. Oh, yes. It is so gorgeous. Like, yeah. I don't know where these, where these like, clubs are or where these <laughs> night places are, but I want to go there, man. I'm not even a club person, but I want to go there and have a drink and, and, and dance might, with... Maybe get shot. Yeah, maybe get shot. Yeah. But, and that was something that really stuck with me when I watched both movies was how the choreography of the fight scenes yeah. and the way he handled a gun and mm-hmm. things like that. And it was just like, well, that's, that's kind of different. You know, I mean, it, I don't know that it really made much more sense than, you know, holding a gun sideways like they do in some other gangster type films. Right. Uh, but like, it was kind of interesting to see him cause a lot of it was close quarter type of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I know when the blood spurts or whatever, it's, it's CGI or whatever, but just the way that, the proximity worked you know he because like most of the people that he ends up shooting are really close to him yeah <laughs> you know it's not the thing where they're down the hallway or whatever like the dude's like three feet away and yeah. he takes him out you know and the other guy has just as much chance to take him out it seems you know? yeah. so he's just that much quicker can you explain to me what the deals with the bad guys in this in this tr- going to be trilogy i mean then the first one they take care of his dog they take care of his car in this one they take down his house don't they know not to mess with this guy's stuff yeah I, I, <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know he in the first film he's out of the business for a, a few years yeah. you know? so i guess it's it's understandable that the 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 punk kid and all that didn't know really who john wick yeah. is you know so i you know you can almost buy it like oh yeah he didn't know so he right he did something he wasn't supposed to and then he learned better. <laughs> but but in this one, they're testing him. They're like, you know what? We need you for this. Uh, we need you for this job, and you're going to do it, like it or not. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, another cool thing about this um, movie series is the underworld of all these hitmen. You know, they yeah. they got their own hotel and you know called the Continental, and they've got their own like <laughs> you know like. Amazon type of place where you can get your guns and you know your <laughs> your suit your bulletproof suit yeah. right right well and I thought that was really cool because it was like because um, we've seen like in Kingsman mm-hmm. and James Bond and you know the good guys have their little 
the places where they go get things or whatnot. Yeah. And it, it was kind of interesting to see the twist of that because most people would consider a hitman a bad guy, right? Uh, to, for the, the most part. And uh, but it was kind of neat the way that they wove that all in there. It's like, oh, here's your little gold piece, and yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, so. this movie was cool, man. So great action sequences and. Yeah. Very, very little acting from Keanu Reeves. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't I, he say did act. He doesn't but, say very much. Not, you know, not very many lines. Yeah, and 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 again, it's the like I was talking about the choreography, the way that everything's put together. The dialogue isn't necessary. I mean, he probably could say a bunch of stuff, but like, that's not what the character is. Right. I mean, they they, they allude that he's kind of dark and mysterious mm-hmm. and. Do not mess with John Wick. And that's part of it. It's like he just walks in and takes care of business. You yeah. Know? This so. movie kind of ends on a cliffhanger. Are you in for John Wick 3? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Cool. Yeah. Uh, the movie's called John Wick 2. It's a movie you can find on DVD. And, in fact, man, just uh, get the entire series because it's uh, it's definitely top-notch action film for sure. Uh, we'll be back with uh, some more reviews, uh, including uh, War for the Planet of the Apes. It's next right here on the screen team. And we want you to know before you go.